We kick off our second season of Salute Our Military with a story of a reward that took decades to come. Sergeant Roy Lee Crisp finally received a Purple Heart Medal 44 years after his service in Vietnam. At 63 years old, the retired soldier tells New Solves Nordy Epps he'd do it all over again. Like most veterans who survived Vietnam, his days with the 3rd Marine Division remained vividly implanted in the mind of Army Sergeant Roy Lee Crisp. Uh, we were sat there looking across the DMZ into North Vietnam. Our rear area was 12 miles from North Vietnam. Sergeant Crisp spent his whole tour in the demilitarized zone between North and South Vietnam. And uh, we'd set up in the gun pits and we'd shoot 24 hours a day. We'd authorize like two hours sleep in 24 hour period. So you were humping ammo, breaking it out. You're inside the gun loading or gunning or AGN. Then on June 27, 1967, an already difficult day nearly turned deadly. Sergeant Crisp's gun took a direct hit from an artillery round from North Vietnam. Hit right in the side. It should have killed the whole crew and everybody, but for some reason it penetrated six inches, bent, and went straight in the ground about four or five feet and exploded and blew the roll wheels off the, the track. I was sitting there about 12 to 15 feet away writing a letter to my mother. And the ground, the round went in the ground and blew up and blew dirt and gravel and I got shrapnel on my arm and chest and back. But he survived, recovering quickly and eventually returning home. Dad was a, a minister and mother really knew how to pray. She prayed a shield around me and God's will, that's what sent me home. Now, 44 years later, an honor this Army vet didn't expect, a Purple Heart Medal, a recognition given to troops wounded in battle. And it's really, it really makes you proud to receive one of these. And uh, it was a long time getting it, but I, it didn't, didn't bother me at the time. We just started doing our job. We weren't collecting medals. We were just trying to do what we were told stay alive to get back home to mom and dad and the family. But for State Representative Kevin Brooks, the medals are important, not only for those who sacrificed so much, but also for us. That's why he presented the Purple Heart to Sergeant Crisp. And it's so important that we don't forget, that we don't ever let our generation or the next generation forget how easily and fragile the freedoms that we enjoy are. Joe Davis with the Bradley County Veterans Office helped Sergeant Crisp apply for the Purple Heart and get benefits he's entitled to. In some cases, Vietnam veterans don't know about the Agent Orange exposure they had and they're entitled to something. There's 15 different diseases presumptive from Vietnam because of Agent Orange. It's for those fellow Vietnam veterans and those still in harm's way today that Sergeant Crisp tells his story. To the families that have daughters and sons that are guarding us at night while we sleep in a safe area, those guys are the heroes. And to the moms and dads, just pray a lot and hope, and I pray every day that they will come back safe like I did. And uh, man, I, I salute these guys that are doing that. Now. And so do we. In Cleveland, Nordia Epps, WDEF News 12. Now be sure to keep it tuned right here to Prime News at 7 because each Monday for the next month we're going to continue to salute our military. And stay with us because we're meeting our Kid Caster when we come back.